Hi, I'm gonna to talk to you about arrays, single link lists, and double link lists. This is a brief overview, it's not programming language specific. So first, let's talk about arrays. What an array is, it's, it's asking for the operating system to allocate a continuous stream of memory for your program's use. You ask for this ahead of time before the program even runs. If it says no, your program won't run. If it says yes, it's gonna find a piece of memory in RAM that's continuous, so a continuous block of memory. That's the key part of an array. As you can see, I drew it out here, and these memory locations, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, see how they're continuous? It's gonna be some hexadecimal number, but for demonstration purposes, they're in order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Also, they are the same size. So this element A is the same size as B, C, D, and so forth. They're all the same size. They're usually indexed by something like a one, two, three, all the way to your last array. Sometimes they'll start with zero, so be careful with that. Now, um, with an array, once you ask the memory, the uh, allocation of that memory um, before runtime, that's it. That's what you're getting. You can't grow, you can't shrink. So if you end up asking for a million continuous pieces of uh, memory and you don't use it all, well, that's still used up. It's not gonna be used for anything else. So be careful with arrays when you go to do stuff like that. Um, the one thing that's really good about arrays is they're very, very fast. Because it's sequential and they're all the same size, what you can do is you can find the size of one element. Find the size of that first element A, and you can say, and you know I've got a million, because you kept track of that. So you can say, I want to get to the uh, you know, 500,000th element. Well, 500,000 times the size of that, boom, you're there in one shot. So it's very easy to access any piece of that array almost instantaneously. Okay, now let's go to a single linked list. A single linked list is kind of like an array, except the memory that is being um, used is scattered, possibly. Sometimes it's scattered, sometimes it's not. It's random. So you have your first element A, and what, what tells A where B is, is <clears throat> where the next element is, I should say, is it's got a pointer, a forward forward thinking pointer. So within A, you've got to store more information. You've got to store the address of B. So you know where to go to next. You know how to traverse or iterate the list. Those are key terms that you might want to get familiar with. So A will go forward, it'll take its forward pointer, which is an address, it says, okay, it's not A I was looking for, I was looking for something else. Traverse it, oh, there's B, it's not B. Where can I go next? Oh, let's go to P, it's not P. Let's go to C. So you finally made it to C. So you had to traverse every single one of them to get to C, unlike the one up here where I knew C was the third element. Of course, they have to be in order and you have to kind of know where they are to even utilize something like that. But with this one, you can't jump from A to C. You have to traverse it. So that can be time consuming. What if you had you know, a couple million blocks of memory? You're traversing a couple million every time. What if you wanted to uh, traverse a million blocks, you know, thousands of times. That's going to take up a lot of, a lot of uh, processing power to do that. And, but the beauty of this is, if I wanted to grow or shrink this, I can do that pretty easily. So to, to grow it, I would simply just tell C, because that's the last element, it goes to null to tell me that it's the end of the uh, linked list. I would just tell C, hey, don't point to this memory address anymore. Point to a new one right here, called uh, F. So. We take that pointer and we point to F's memory location, whatever that might be. Now F's gonna go ahead and point back to the null to say that's the end of it. You can do this anywhere. You can do it with the B, you can take it, you can take them in and out as you please. One thing that is missing from the single link list is you can't traverse backwards. So every time you want to try to find something, you have to start at the very beginning where you kept track of there's my beginning location. Now, technically, you probably could have kept track of the uh, engine as well, or any other uh, one of them, but you still can't traverse backwards. There's no pointer that points backwards. Hence, we've got the double linked list, where you can traverse forwards and backwards. So let's start at the null. The null is pointing to my first element, so A. So my A is pointing to this one here. We'll call it B. But B is also pointing to, um, it's going back, it's, it's backwards pointer, is pointing backwards at A. So it knows where it kind of came from. But B also has a pointer that points to the next element, C, so to speak. And C will point to null, and null will point back to C. So it's two-way street here. So with this, you can still do the same things you can up here, as you can add and subtract them. 
But at least this one, you can go to B and then go back. You can go forward and backwards all day long looking for what you need. So that's kind of an overview. Um, the problem with this, again, is these might not be continuous bits of memory. They may be scattered throughout the whole entire um, uh, RAM structure, whatever it is. Um, you might be blocking, like this B, in reality, might be, the, might be the next memory location right here. So if you did want to somehow allocate more memory with an array, it still couldn't because B is in the way. You'd have to find some other piece of memory in RAM that's longer if you wanted to do that. And that's why you typically don't change the array sizes during runtime. It's a one shot and done. That's not technically true, but uh, for our purposes, it's gonna be true. Um, so other than that, I think that concludes basically your overview of linked lists, double linked lists, and arrays. If you have any questions, please comment on the uh, video down below.